Hey everybody, we're right here playing Kingdom Hearts Union Cross, and we're just gonna get right to a couple pulls. Um, I really don't want to try to make this any long because my game has crashed a lot trying to record. Um, but I'm doing some pulls. Um, I don't have enough to mercy it yet, but um, I decided that I wanted to get this medal despite the little controversial um, happenings with them changing the banner. That's a whole nother story. And of course I uh, did VIP and stuff. I got, of course, pulled in and hopefully that's the rocks. <gasps> yes! <laughs> Alright. Okay, that is awesome. Alright, I'm, I'm happy. Oh, and he got a 2. He got a 2. Oh, 5 engage 1. Oh, and look, oh my, I, had, I hadn't even noticed. <laughs> I got Sora Art EX 7 star with AB5 and Lux Plus. That's, that's pretty great. This, this is a great pull. This is great. And get to see hopefully that the game didn't crash. That's good. So um, I got another seven star. I got a bonus Lark scene. Wow, this was a great pull. And then I got the seven star. Wow, look at all that. So <sighs> the old me would probably again for another trait and also old me is gonna probably just do this too um, if I trade it I'm, I definitely can't pull anymore because of a very very rare chance I got a boosted copy for some reason but I think I do need to stop um, the thing that'll get me to want to obviously pull more is going to be if I get bad traits, because that usually tempts me to to go more. So I'm getting three trait rolls out of this. And I'm gonna, I would want to pull more to fill up the rest. So we may, I may do that later, but we'll see. Uh, let's just go ahead and do that first and pay attention to not overwriting. Ouch. That's no bueno. That hurts. That really does. This will probably be my punishment. Okay, we got air. Um, not the preferred one, but I'll definitely take it. Let this one run its course. Extra attacker ground would be amazing. Strength is good too. Okay, so I'm super tempted, but I shouldn't. At least not yet. Um, since it's the beginning of the week, we hopefully we'll get some more jewels down the line. Um, Oh yeah, it's highlighted because I have defense, a strength, and an air, so not really too PvP friendly with the traits here. Um, the strength and defense, I, I mean the strength will help, but defense maybe not so much. So, I'm, I'm more happy that I got him, was that my third pull? Yeah, because I pulled twice. Yeah, I pulled twice, so third pull, got him. And managed to get a pretty awesome... <sighs> Did my other five... What was my other... Oh, I didn't even real. I didn't really think. The other one was the tier five. Right? 
Oh yeah, this is technically... Yeah, okay, yeah, this technically was my tier 5. And... That's, that's pretty cool. Um, I, yeah, that was the first time I ever pulled him. Um, he's got a Lux. He's got pretty good... Pretty decent multiplier, not great, but um, cool to have nonetheless. Um, we can do so, as you can see. Yes, I have the the Miguel and Dante, so I did um, did cave on that, and I'm kind of glad I did. Well, not kind of. I'm pretty glad I did for the first one because I put it together and I got an extra attack, which you might think it's not good because or not great because your buffs are maxed out but it is good for some events because of the enemy countdown plus six so if I'm facing like an organization member that has um, a counter on it that's gonna be 12 up and with just this metal I don't have to worry about um, I really, I really don't have to worry about um, the counters, except for maybe the the ones that are the just the hits, and not the actual um, metals metal turns. So, yeah, and then also too, like if there's multiple enemies with counters too, the extra attack can let me bring up a second person's counter too. So that's that's really great too. And the buff's really good for PvP. So let's go ahead and make ourselves our second one and see what we can get. Okay, that's not too bad, I guess. I don't think it really matters for PvP. But it could matter for events. Uh, I'm not too thrilled with Paralyze. Okay, so this one's a PvP looking one. Uh, we'll just go ahead and do the last one. I don't need to go over any of the other traits on my other copy, so. Okay, I, I could take off Paralysis and have double poison. Okay, so that one that one could be useful in PvP um, with the poison resists up by 40. So, yeah, there we go. Look, this is great. Um, yeah, air, strength, Probably could take this in the Coliseum. Um, we got an extra Lark scene. Now, now that we're getting these like by themselves, I'm basically just wanting to kind of keep them separate and not, you know, put them into any of the other um, metals that I have quite yet. Simply because. Um, we're eventually gonna, you know, get seven star versions of them, and if I keep them and wait, then I'll have more trait rolls later. So that's pretty great too. We'll just get rid of these. We don't need them. We always get a ton of those. And I'm gonna wait to do the um, the Sora and Simba later. Um, oh, I guess not sell anymore. I can show you... So I also pulled... I know I pulled him as a... Yeah, I pulled him because he's 7 stars, and I didn't get a good trait on him, or a good skill. I got attack boost 1, which might have... Actually, no, I did get... I got defense boost 1 max on him, so I just replaced it with the AB1 I had on my other copy, so... Um, and then I actually pulled this guy, I think on my second pull then, and he got the AB5 gauge 1. Um, I did roll one, because I only had one copy of him with like no dots, and I, I put him in there and got HP, so 
I ended up pulling um, those as my other tier fives. Um, I do really want to. F I like to fill up the rest of his um, trait slots, but again, it's like kind of rolling the dice. I mean, it wouldn't be bad unless I literally got air. Like anything else would be okay because it'll at least add something to the metal. But if I rolled another air on it, it would be like a waste of jewels, kind of. So I think we're going to leave that like that for now and do the smart thing, which I usually don't do. Um, but yeah, we've got so many banners. So many banners. Yeah, so we reset that. Um, we, you know, these are going away at the end of Monday. I would, I wouldn't honestly be shocked if we got like another new banner of some kind to replace this, and then this is going away. So one, two, three, four banners are going away very soon, and we'll be left with these and these other ones that are kind of here to stay. So um, we can check out real quick. Let's just see what. Um, we get from the equipment cost challenge. Ten challenging quests where you'll probably get zero jewels for each of them. Huey, Dewey, and Louise. No friend medals. Let's uh, let's check this out. And just see, because, well, let's see, my high score challenge. I wanted to make a high score challenge one, but game keeps crashing when I was recording, so I gave up on that. Um, I'll be fine to get the other copy, I'm pretty sure. Cost of, okay, so we need to do it with 77 cost or less, which basically you could probably just do it with one um, buffer. You use any keyblade. Okay, yeah. You can probably do it with any keyblade. Or no, no, I'm sorry, not any keyblade. Any any main buffer, and then uh, one super strong seven star like AOE, like like Buzz for instance. Like, what's my cost here? Eighty eight. I wonder if lowering the cost probably works. 20, 10, so we could put, whoops, alright, so this will probably put us at the 70, oh, 20, 20, 20, okay, I guess, wow, that's dirty. Can you put it, does the pet slot count? I forget. Pet slot doesn't count, or does, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so this would probably be enough. Yeah, because my it's at fifty-two, so it looks like you can probably go in with three. And if you have seven stars, then um, this probably won't be too difficult. Although the first quest is six fifty off the bat, so so when I mentioned that this quest probably won't give any jewels before back in the day which wasn't even that long ago, we would get quests like this, that even if the objective rewards weren't jewels, if you completed it, even without completing any of the objectives, you would get like 30 jewels. They seemingly have stopped that for some reason, maybe because they think we're, we're getting too much now and they're trying to rebalance the amount of jewels that we're getting and trying to be like sneaky about it, like, oh, okay, well, we're going to give them more jewels here, 
but to kind of offset that, we're going to take away jewels from somewhere else in little amounts that, that add up. I think that's pretty bad. It's pretty shady. I doubt this entire quest line will be that difficult, but there's really not that great of rewards now. You don't even need to kill everything, so I don't really need to look for anything but the target, I guess. So you can skip, you can skip the airplane if you want. And I should kill it with just the first attack here. So another good way, if you can't use a whole lot of metals um, to beat it, is to use metals that have extra attack, because that just adds on to the damage that you can do without increasing your cost. So let's see. Yep, no jewels to be had. So, we're back to getting Moogles, Huey, Dewey, and Louis, and other really not great rewards. So, yeah, I think that'll about do it. Let's look at it. Yep, these are, these are some real bad rewards here. They're not, they're not great. <laughs> they're really not. Especially if there's no jewels at the end, even for doing, like, the final one. Like, they could have at least made jewels, like, the last quest, and gave us, like, a couple hundred. Even, just something. Like, they don't give us anything anymore. So anyways, before I get too ranty, I think that's gonna do it, because I could, I could rant about a lot of things right now, but I'm not. Um, I will be back, and I'll just add that, um... Can we see our ranking in Lux? Oh, it'll probably be for the fresh week, but... Um, side note, I think, and I'm pretty sure I should be, um, I'm getting my first Lux ranking title. I I got into top 1,000. My group has been really awesome. Thank you so much for all the things you know they do. And, yeah, pretty, pretty cool. I'm going to get the... Um, I think I, ra I ranked around probably 80, 88, 89, 90, something like that. So that's pretty great. So anyways, thanks for watching, and try not to lose your minds too much over this game, because we've got, hopefully, <laughs> um, PvP changes that are going to be positive coming after this one's over tonight. So we'll see. Later.